Hey, good Tuesday morning. Rise and shine. Uh, <coughs> oh, excuse me. It takes a while for my throat to get back to where it should be, you know. I'm about three octaves lower than what I should be right now. <laughs> Allergies, who knows. <laughs> the, uh, the side effects from, uh, my eye medicine that I take, the eye drops, possibly, right? <laughs> but, hey, the good Lord gave me another day. And I just want to say, good morning, peeps. Hope you're having a good day. Uh, Memorial Day was uh, fantastic, terrific. I, I enjoyed virtually every moment of the day, all right? Uh, most of our neighbors here at the campsite, they all went home uh, early yesterday. <laughs> Except for one, my my neighbor Nancy. Well, she works down here in the in the campground, and she had a way to uh, clean some of the cabins, and then afterwards, then she headed on back to uh, Philadelphia. That's where she lives. Uh, usually, she's back in Philly. I want to say within an hour and a half, maybe somewhere in there. You know, she's not like me, a four-hour tripper. Uh, but uh, last night. She got in the thick of the traffic, right? And uh, she left at like 3 p.m. from here, King Nummy. <clears throat> Excuse me. And <laughs> she was stuck in traffic. I think it was 6.15. She sent a text. And I told Carol, she texting and driving? She goes, no. Man, she doesn't text and drive. She was stuck <laughs> at a dead standstill. So she texted a message saying, I'm not even up to, uh, we have a highway here called 51. She's not, or 55, she's not even up to Highway 55 yet, so Jesus. I think it took her every bit of a, I don't, I don't remember if Carol said it was a five hours. Yeah, five hours to get home, you know. That's when I guess everybody figured they were going to leave, you know, yesterday. But uh, we decided we're, we're going to stay down here an extra day and I'll leave here today. Now, hopefully there weren't many people that, made the same decision I did. Well, we will see later on. Then our other uh, neighbor, uh, uh, about four campers from us here, they uh, left last night, and uh, their trip home is only like an hour and 15 minutes, you know. <clears throat> so when they left here, you know, Carol said, hey, let us know you got home safe. And of course, uh, the young lady got in touch with Carol, text and said, yeah, we're home, and only took us an hour and 15 minutes, give or take, something like that. So uh, they avoided the traffic somehow, or maybe it was finally thinned out, you know. But what we did yesterday, uh, I uh, told Carol, we were sitting here, and again, nobody was here. So I said, hey, let's go do something. So uh, we played tourist yesterday. <laughs> we went down to uh, Cape May Point, and if you guys have never been there, all right, uh, and you're coming to Cape May, you know, to camp or stay in a hotel or whatever, you got to hit Cape May Point, right? There. See that ship? That's a concrete ship, all right? And uh, there's a whole story behind it, how it uh, got stuck, <laughs> all right? And this is going back many, many years ago, and the ship is still there, but uh, it's really starting to erode, you know? There is not that much of that ship left anymore. But uh, anyway, we went down there, and uh, uh, there's a little bit of a, a store there, a tourist store, of course, you know, on each side uh, in this area, and it's right on the on the water, if you want to say that. And I usually buy a couple shirts. So uh, I had to buy me a, a new shirt because I got two or three of these, but they're starting to wear out. And, of course, I ain't got to tell you what it's going to say, right? <laughs> it's, a, you know, a nice little, it's a Cape May shirt, right? Blue, right? To make my cataract-free eyes pop, all right? And the shirts, uh, they're only uh, $9.99, all right? So I picked that up. And then from there, we took a ride into beautiful Cape May. And that was nice, you know? We drove up and down there for for a while and uh, seen some of the sights there. And 
then we came home, back to the campsite, and uh, I uh, had some steaks, uh, some ribeyes. I fixed the uh, Weber charcoal kettle grill. I got it all set up. I, I got a, a bed of uh, hot charcoal going. I made sure it was all ashed over real nice. And then I took a, a, a hickory log, all right? You can buy uh, chunks of uh, hickory logs. And I took a, a, a half a hickory log, if you will, and I put that on the bed of uh, the charcoal. Put the grates on top, obviously. Let them get nice and hot. Then I put my uh, steaks on there and seared them real nice. And just just uh, grilling with actual wood. Mm. I mean, I like my charcoal, but uh, figured I'd uh, change it up a little bit last night. Uh, I did it with hickory wood, and man, it was good. And uh, Carol made a, if you want to call it, an Italian salad. <coughs> uh, she got the, I think it's called zesty <laughs> Italian uh, salad dressing at our local uh, giant store where we live. <coughs> <coughs> and it's not real strong. So you shake that up and... Uh, she went down to uh, the little uh, uh, vegetable market right down the road here where they sell all fresh, you know, farm vegetables and that. And uh, she got some red peppers, green peppers, uh, some radishes, uh, uh, Vidalia onion, and just chopped all, chopped all that up and quartered it real nice and, you know, just bite-sized chunks. Mixed that all together and just put the this uh, giant brand uh, zesty Italian uh, dressing on it, and that was our dinner. It was good, you know. Just a nice steak, rare, and uh, the zesty Italian uh, uh, salad. And that was my drink of choice. I can't drink a beer or anything uh, when I'm having my dinner, you know. My buddies can do that, but nah, I can't. So, all right, that's enough of my jabber. <laughs> So I just wanted to say good morning to all of you and let me know how my day went. And like I said, if you get a chance, come on down here. You know, bring your camper, your tent, or they got cabins here in a King Nummy Trail campground. And while you're down here, make sure you get down to Sunset Beach. <laughs> That's my public service announcement for the day. All right. You guys have a great day today. I will talk to all of you later on. I love you guys. I really do. I'll be heading on home here. Uh, uh, let's see, what is it right now? It's uh, 8.15. I'm figuring maybe uh, 10, 11 o'clock I'll leave here. Uh, then I got about a four-hour trip to get home. You do the math. That'll be a nice uh, time to get home. My neighbor, uh, his name's Tim, he'll stop over because I usually pick up some uh, Philadelphia-style soft pretzels. For him, he likes those. We stop at our local Wawa over there in Mulliga Hill, New Jersey. That's our one and only pit stop. I stop there. I fill up with gas. Carol goes in, and uh, sometimes she gets us hoagies, depending on whether we're hungry or not. But she definitely picks up these uh, soft pretzels for our neighbor, Tim, because uh, while we're away, he babysits my house or our house for us, you know. That's a good man. Okay, once again, let's put down the coffee and I'm going to start my day. All right, guys, you take care. I'll talk to all of you later on. I love you. Make sure you let your people know that you appreciate them and you love them because we're not guaranteed tomorrow. God bless the United States of America and God bless you guys. Keep on smiling. Love you. Cheers and nostrovia.